step closer to increasing class sizes for tens of thousands of students. The proposed plan, part of the district's larger strategy to save millions of dollars. KXN's Tom Miller looks at the new recommendation and the impact it would have in the classroom. Tom? Robert, this recommendation is coming from the district's HR department and is being discussed right now by the school board, which is meeting behind me. It is calling for student increases in middle and high school classes. Classes at Austin ISD's secondary campuses are just a vote away from getting bigger, a disappointing development in the eyes of Edward Viegas, whose daughter Veronica is in sixth grade. I think the students would have a hard time concentrating on the classes. The teachers can't watch them and see what they're doing. If approved, each class would add an average of two more students for a target size of 31. Austin ISD estimates a cost savings of $6.4 million, but doesn't anticipate teacher layoffs. We fully anticipate that we will be able to absorb any change in the staffing levels through teacher attrition. Each year we lose anywhere from 500 to 600 teachers. Education Austin, the district's employee union, is pushing back, arguing the increase would hurt students' ability to learn. We have to ask a question, is it good for kids? Is increasing class size good for kids? And our answer is no. The decision would impact all 17 high schools and 19 middle schools. That's roughly 37,000 students in bigger classes beginning next year, including Veronica. More one-on-one, -on -one, that's what I'd like to see, which would be smaller classes. Instead, they could be headed in the other direction, a budgeting decision with an impact that could soon reach into the classroom. Now, it was as recently as last month that the district was also considering increasing the elementary class student-teacher ratio. That, I'm told, is no longer on the table. As for the middle and high school class sizes, the board is scheduled to vote on that later this month. Live in Austin, Tom Miller, KXAN News. Tom, thanks. The Austin ISD blames a big part of its budget problems on the school finance system in the state of Texas. This school year, it has to pay about $670 million to the state. That's almost half of their expenses. Under the current Robin Hood plan, property-rich districts like Austin must send money to the state to help out poor, property-poor districts. District leaders say if it could keep all that money, it would be able to give every single teacher at the Austin ISD a $100,000 raise, give every graduating senior a $150,000 scholarship, and pay for the 2017 $1 billion bond entirely without going to the voters.